I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making cocadas. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. It's Cinco de Mayo and I was looking for something special to make for the occasion when I happened across a treat called cocadas. It's made with coconut, dulce de leche, and nuts, and it looked perfect for a Cinco de Mayo episode. Of course, I had to add a little RMC flair by bringing chocolate into the mix. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own cocadas, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I'm using 1 and 3 quarters cups of sweetened coconut flakes, 1 third cup of dulce de leche, this is left over from the dulce de leche I made for the banoffee truffles a couple of weeks ago. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the description. One third cup of chopped pecans. Feel free to substitute any kind of nut you like here or leave the nuts out entirely. And one cup of chocolate. I'm also using a mini muffin pan, some bowls, a spatula, a couple of spoons, a cutting board, and a sheet of silpat. Okay, let's make some candy. Set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Spray a mini muffin pan with cooking spray. In a large bowl, mix together the coconut flakes, dulce de leche, and nuts until well combined. Distribute the mixture into the pan, packing it down tightly. Bake it for 10 to 12 minutes or until the edges are nicely browned. Remove them from the oven and let them cool to room temperature. Carefully remove them from the pan and place them on a lined cutting board. Melt or temper the chocolate, then dip the bottom of a cocada into the chocolate, let the excess drain, and return it to the cutting board. Repeat with the remaining cocadas, then leave them on the counter to set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slant va. Very nice. This has a delightfully chewy texture. The caramelized coconut adds a little bit of crispy, but really this is all about the chew. Flavor-wise, it has that dark, mildly sweet flavor of the dulce de leche. The coconut comes through nicely and the chocolate rounds out the profile. This could almost be described as a more refined version of a Mounds or Bounty bar. If you're looking for a treat to top off your Cinco de Mayo celebration, you really ought to try these. A lot of people are of the mistaken opinion that Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexico's independence. The actual Mexican Independence Day falls on September 16th. Cinco de Mayo, which by the way is Spanish for 5th of May, honors Mexico's victory over France at the Battle of Puebla during the Franco-American War. According to History.com, and I quote, while Cinco de Mayo is a relatively minor holiday in Mexico, in the United States it's evolved into a commemoration of Mexican culture and heritage, particularly in areas with large Mexican-American populations. Here are a few more fun facts about Cinco de Mayo. In 2005, Congress declared Cinco de Mayo an official U.S. holiday. According to Forbes magazine, there are about 54,000 Mexican restaurants in the U.S. I find this number rather surprising. I thought we had that many right here in Southern California. <laughs> Forbes also claims that Americans eat 81 million pounds of avocados on Cinco de Mayo. 
Finally, the city of Longmont, Colorado celebrates Cinco de Mayo with a Chihuahua beauty contest, in which they crown a king and queen Chihuahua. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. I'm using one and three quarters cups of sweetened condensed no. <laughs> one third cup of dulce. <laughs> Carefully removed from the. <laughs> Flavor wise, it has that dark, mildly sweet flavor of the dulce. <laughs>